Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. And today I'm gonna to be doing a full day of eating like Greg Doucette. So for those of you who do not know who Greg Doucette is, he is a bodybuilder, he's a powerlifter, he's a coach, he's a YouTuber. He's pretty much just a bigger, better, funnier, and more successful version of me. But yeah, he has this cooking series on YouTube called The Anabolic Kitchen, where he makes uh, these low calorie, high protein, high volume recipes. So they're kind of like similar to the ones uh, that I do in my videos, but I'm gonna be giving some of his is uh, a go today and I'm actually gonna put my own little spin on some of the recipes because one I think it could be interesting and two I live in Ireland so some ingredient improvisation is gonna be necessary so sit back relax and enjoy the video make sure you hit uh, the subscribe button if you are new here and you have come on behalf of Greg to roast me uh, and let's get it going okay so I'm gonna be starting the day with some anabolic French toast uh, and in Greg's kitchen he cooks up a sweet version which I can confirm is top quality, but I'm gonna put a savory spin on it today. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. I have some spinach, I have some mushrooms, I have some 60 calorie bread, I have some egg whites, I have some eggs, uh, and as some seasoning, I'm gonna be using some smoked paprika. So I'm gonna start by pouring 300 ml of egg whites into a big mixing bowl. I'm gonna be using one egg. I am gonna add a very generous amount of smoked paprika. And now I am going to dip and soak three slices of 60 calorie bread uh, into the egg mix and transfer them to a pan. And according to my calculations, this is going to be a very tight squeeze. Okay, so it is time for the toughest part of this recipe, which is the flip. This is crucial. One, two, three, go again, boom. It burns, what's your look? Can we make it three clean flips? Boom, yes we can. And while they are cooking away, I have a little side dish going on over here. So there is 150 grams of mushrooms, and uh, there is the rest of the egg mix that I didn't use for the French toast, and there is also 45 grams of spinach. And when I put the spinach leaves on the pan like two minutes ago, I swear there was a mountain. It's crazy how spinach just shrivels up into nothing with a bit of heat. going to use some of this no added sugar and salt ketchup as well so per 15 grams there is only 6.6 .6 calories looks pretty good mm. this actually tastes so good and when you compare the sweet one to the savory one like they both taste unreal but the sweet one is one that I kind of would have every now and again because if I was to have it every morning I feel like I would get sick of it, whereas I could have this one every morning and I probably would never get sick of it. I don't know, it's probably just personal preference. To be honest, I think a heavy rotation between sweet and savory French toast is the way to go. And comment below and let me know what you think, sweet or savory? Okay, so I just flew over to Little and finally picked myself up a proper blender. This was badly needed, to be honest. But yeah, the one I have at home at the moment is just so bad, to be honest. Like, it's so small, has a hard time blending anything. I don't even know if it's a proper blender. I don't know what it is. Uh, so this is definitely a worthwhile investment. Only like 25 euro. Little is so good for things like that. Uh, and will come in handy for a recipe that I will be making later. Hint, hint. Uh, so yeah, let's go home and get some lunch. Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to be making the biggest salad that you have ever seen and in Greg's salad uh, he uses loads of ingredients but the most notable one is 100 grams of spinach. We I personally find spinach a little bit bland and I think 100 grams of it would be just terrible to be honest so instead uh, I am going to have 100 grams of this baby leaf and rocket mix. The calories are pretty much identical uh, to spinach and it is just as voluminous. Greg if you have a special reason for using 100 grams of spinach and I have just deeply offended you I am very sorry. We are also going to be using 180 grams of chicken that I have frying away over here uh, and some other ingredients. So let's put it together. Okay, so 100 grams of this baby leaf and rocket mix. That is a lot of salad. I am going to chop up half a red and half a yellow pepper and add it to the bowl. I'm going to add 100 grams of these baby plum tomatoes. These are delicious. One quarter of an onion, 180 grams of chicken. And honestly, I think the salad looks really good so far, but just to give it that extra extra bit of flavor. Uh, I am going to add 100 grams of this tomato and chili 
pasta sauce that you get from Tesco. So per 100 grams, there is only 37 calories. And in my opinion, that is absolutely worth the flavor it is going to bring. I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and some smoked paprika. And just so I don't have to mix it all up with a spoon, I'm gonna cover it with this microwave cover and give it a little shake. This is actually so dense, like I do not know what I was doing buying waist during lockdown. I should have just done lateral raises with Greg salad bowls. But yeah, I actually think this looks so good, so let's give it a taste. Mm. Really good, and in my opinion, the tomato and chili pasta sauce just makes it. I can't remember if Greg uses a sauce in his video. I think he could. But yeah, a tomato-based pasta sauce is generally a good shout because they are usually low in calories and will obviously uh, add a lot of flavor to a salad. And in the video I watched where Greg makes this, he's literally like screaming at the camera and he's like, you cannot get fat from eating these foods. No one in the world can get fat if they eat this kind of stuff. You will be so full, you won't be able to handle it. And he has such a good point because this only contains like 358 calories or something like that and it is huge so if you have a, a big appetite like me and you are on lower calories it is definitely worth including like a huge salad in your diet every day like such a good way uh, to keep the hunger down okay so i've just spent the last few hours and uh, making some very cool updates to everyone's account on the transformation program so everyone has access to my recipe books that i update uh, on a monthly basis and the great thing about these is that each recipe comes with a barcode that you can just scan into to my fitness pal and they also have access to my survival guide so if they are eating out uh, they can look these up in advance and make some informed choices because I have the calories and macros for every single uh, item on the menu and I am not sure if you even want to know this but the Krispy Kreme one is actually frightening so I'm a massive fan of Krispy Kreme if you don't want to know how many calories is in a donut just turn this video off right now all right, so I'm gonna be making a anabolic protein pizza and in Greg's video he uses this like P28 flatbread thing that has like 10 million grams of protein but unfortunately we do not have that here so instead I'm gonna improvise and use one of these uh, kids homeo wraps as the base only 121 calories per wrap you get these in Tesco uh, and I'm going to dress it up with a few other bits and trust me this is gonna be delicious so I am a, a big fan of barbecue based on a pizza so I'm gonna be using some of this very low calorie smoky barbecue sauce that you get from the skinny food company so this is 50 ml of barbecue sauce in total and that just contains 12 calories now i'm going to add 150 grams of these fajita chicken breast pieces and the great thing about these is that they have a lot of extra flavor from the fajita seasoning but the calories and macros are pretty much the same as normal chicken then i am going to add a combination of green and red jalapeno. Next up we have some mushroom. So I literally just sliced up one singular mushroom, which is pretty sad. Next I'm going to spread 30 grams of this 50% nas fat cheese over the top. And per 30 grams, there is only 71 calories, which is extremely good for cheese. And you'll be able to find this particular one in Aldi. And last but not least, just to give it a final bit of flavor, I am going to use some seasoning. So some smoked paprika, if you haven't guessed already, I am obsessed with smoked paprika uh, and some Cajun seasoning as well then I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes to give the mushrooms time to cook uh, and to also let the base get nice and crispy I am having extreme trouble with this there we go all right moment of truth is this gonna taste as good as it looks mm. this is so good and you know it's not the most voluminous of meals but if you are in the mood for a treat and you don't have a lot of calories, it is a very good option. And I'm a big fan of drinking uh, sparkling water with a lot of my meals because I find that it helps fill me up a lot. I think it's the gas. Uh, but yeah, this one is summer fruits flavor. It's my favorite, I think. You get it from Tesco. And it's even a really good idea if you're not having a huge or a big voluminous meal because it will help you feel fuller uh, by the end of it. One final look. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, so some time has elapsed. I am back in the kitchen and it is time for the final main meal of this video. And this is the recipe that actually got me watching Greg more often in the first place because someone wrote to me on Instagram. They said, yo, you have to check this recipe out by Greg Doucette. It will be right up your street. I checked it out. It was and the rest is history. And the recipe I am talking about is, of course, Greg's anabolic ice cream. I have my blender set up and ready to go. Absolutely buzzing. And I have all of my ingredients ready to go over here and they are not identical to Greg's, but when you are making ice cream, you need to make it your own. All right, so in no particular order, let's start adding the ingredients and I'm gonna start with 100 grams of this summer fruit mix. I'm pro 100 grams, which is the amount that I'm gonna be using. Uh, there is only 46 calories, which is obviously really good. I'm gonna add 50 grams of chocolate brownie whey protein, which is my favorite. Uh, whey protein of all time. I'm going to add 80 ml of low fat milk and Greg makes a special point to point out in his video uh, that you can use water as well if you want to. I am going to add half a teaspoon of this Zantan gum and this is pretty much the special ingredient uh, because it is going to add a lot of thickness to the ice cream. I got it on eBay but you will probably find it in your local health shop or supplement shop or whatever. And last but not least, I hope I am not forgetting any I am going to add some ice. The ice is actually really important because it is going to add a lot of volume to the ice cream. I think that's enough. And let's go. Okay, so I've been standing here for about 20 minutes trying to blend this properly and it turns out that in a dramatic turn of events, somewhat funny, somewhat unfortunate, that this blender is probably worse than my other blender. Like it just cannot blend an ice cube at all. I literally think I could do a better job if I was just eating the ice cubes and spitting them into this. But yeah, it turned out okay in the end. That is what I get for buying a blender from Little, I suppose. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna give it one last blend. <laughs> I actually hate this blender. Alright, let's scoop it out. I would do the test where you put the blender over your head like Greg does, but this blender is just so, so shit that I do not trust it. The blade would literally fall off. And yeah, I'd probably die, so... And to top it off, I'm going to add 15 grams of marshmallows and 15 grams of milk chocolate chips. All right, let's go. Mm. Marshmallows are such a good topping because they are so light, so I use 15 grams, and 15 grams like was such a big portion. This is really, really good. Mm. Still annoyed about that blender though. Honestly, you think this would be able to blend a few cubes of ice? I'm upset eating my ice cream now. And one more pro tip when you are eating anything like this, so protein ice cream, yogurt, uh, porridge, whatever, is to use a teaspoon because it is gonna take you much longer to eat the meal because each spoonful is smaller and that's gonna give you a better chance to get full. Might be eating out of the blender now, but I still hate it. All right, so I was very happy to see that Greg Doucette is a big fan of popcorn, so that is what I'm going to end uh, today's full day of eating with popcorns were my key like basically um, tasty little snack so I'm going to go with 50 grams and this popcorn here so Manhattan popcorn is so so voluminous pretty sure it's only available in Ireland but 50 grams is such a huge bowl that you would not believe like this here now is 37 grams this is a massive bowl and it is completely full. And yeah, it's weird because some popcorns just are not as voluminous as others. So it is kind of trial and error. Microwave popcorn is generally really good for volume. So that could be an option for anyone looking to really volumize a meal. Uh, and another thing that I saw that Greg did, which I thought was genius, was that he added like a little sachet of sweetener to his popcorn to obviously make it a little bit more sweet. That's genius. But yeah, I have some powdered sweetener here. So I am going to get a teaspoon and just disperse it around. So yeah, what was originally salty popcorn is now sweet and salty popcorn. So yeah, I'm gonna have the video up there. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little spin on Greg's Anabolic Kitchen. I am still kind of raging uh, about that ice cream, to be honest, but sure look. I know Greg is very understanding. I am sure he'll forgive me. And yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment below uh, and let me know and subscribe if you have not done so already. And yeah, I would definitely be open to doing another full day of eating like 
insert name, uh, in a couple of weeks time. So if you have any suggestions, make sure you drop them below. So yeah, thank you again and I will see you next week. Music